How we doing today, everybody? Uh, this is gonna be a quickie video. Today I've got a Boundless Brooklyn New York City Water Tower model kit in the small. These are hard to come by. I lucked out and found a seller on eBay who had a couple of them, so I figured I'd put one together for you. I've been wanting to do these. They punch out real easy and the pieces come almost as you see them. You just gotta pop out the middle and here I am. I got this bright idea to use rhinestones to go ahead and recreate rivets on the steel girders. So I'm using my uh, actual, this glue that I use for model railroads. And I put a little dab of that down, and then I use my finger to pick up the rhinestone and drop it right in place, like you see there. And it's just wet enough so you can kind of reposition it before it starts to set. But once it sets, man, it is on there. So here I go again, just to show you a second time around. I go ahead and put a little drop there, and then just pick up that rhinestone and plop it right in place. A little hard to do with a camera in your hand. Special thank you to my friends at Plaid who had sent over that great care package. I believe it was last year, right before the pandemic. These paints are just wonderful. I used this Montana Gold Reef on the main body. I, I really love this paint. It was just the right color for me. And then I pulled out some old rubber stamps and made a New York stencil and uh, dry brushed that with some of that ivory paint that you saw on the other thing. And then this is what the girders look like, dry brushed in black and then silver. And here's the stamp that I made. I used uh, copper paint and then went over it with some patina, a little bit watered down so it ran a bit, and I also added a little bit of rust around the rivets on the girders to give it that realism. Uh, I'm very happy with how this came out, and I'm gonna have these up on Etsy, hopefully by the end of this year. So there you have it, a New York City Boundless Brooklyn water tower kit. These things are great. They come as sheets and you pop the in-betweens right out. I have a pile of them from a billboard that I also did, because um, I figure I can reuse those, but I mean, they're great. I know they're reopening their store in December with some new products, but otherwise I'm just really happy and that's going to look good on a, on a tower on top of the building far away and just create some distance, um, some forced perspective shots and whatnot. And also some buildings have smaller water towers. Thanks so much guys. And if you're not already, please subscribe. Please consider hitting the notification bell. Share these videos with a friend and if you have any questions, sound off down below. I'll throw you an answer best I can. Anyway, be well guys and uh, as always, too sweet me.